So Marvel Entertainment. And this is uh, some news that I had kind of expected for a while. But they are coming out with the Guardians of the Galaxy animated sh- TV show. So that's the thing. And, eh, you know, it makes sense. The, the Guardians have really risen in popularity since last year's blockbuster film came out. I mean, it did make some over, what, $300, $400 million in the box office. Yeah, didn't it set some records at the time? Might have said, like, August records or something like that. So or Like speed to something, I don't know, something like yeah. that. And, and it was it was a very entertaining movie. I really enjoyed it. And so now they're making it into a cartoon. And uh, my thoughts on this are it's probably going to be pretty good. Um, now they have my started thoughts releasing. are I'm not surprised at all, considering Marvel's trend of when our movies do well, someone makes a TV, an animated TV show out of them, which is fun. Me, that's cool. I do that. Yeah, I mean, okay. I have liked some. Um, now what they've done to kind of uh, whet your appetites before this show comes out this fall is they've started releasing um, ten little shorts and these are going to pretty much go through the guardians and i'm guessing two parts each because the first one they've already released the first two parts and those tell peter quill star lord pretty much how he got to where he was and i mean when i say shorts they're pretty short they're like three minutes maybe four minutes each so it's not really long uh, but that that's going to kind of give you more of a background to the guardians than we got in the movie uh, now, you will probably have needed to see the movie to really get what's going on in these shorts because they do kind of cut in a little bit to where the movie is already treaded and then veers off of that and shows you more. Like with Peter Quill, they show him running out of the hospital room where his mother just died and then the spaceship shows up and picks him up. And then they show you what happens, how he gets to know these people, uh, you know, his first experience uh, as part of the Ravagers what that's like so it's going to be pretty interesting i think it's a good idea i would like to see more you know how did rocket and groot really meet or you know drax the destroyer where's where's he from are they going to show his family you know because that's who he's out to avenge in the movie and gamora she'll she's an interesting character she's like a space assassin so it'll be pretty cool to see how they do it now when i hear that marvel's doing it that means disney's doing it and they are releasing it on disney xd and when you think are they going to kind of kitty it up I, yes. a little bit here and there, but not as bad as we think. Now, they did, like, the Avengers, uh, Mightiest, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. That was a pretty good cartoon. There was another Avengers Assemble. That wasn't as good. But I've seen a couple good Marvel cartoons, especially when Marvel Entertainment is spearheading it, that I think that it'll be pretty good. But I'm looking at the other side of the coin, and that it would be DC's animated universe, and how they are just, like leaps and bounds above marvel's animated universe if you look at what they're pumping out i think that there was a time when marvel was way was way ahead but dc definitely has has done well well you see because they haven't like they haven't disjointed them as much as marvel does because marvel has gone through so many iterations of each of their their big franchises whereas dc like like Superman, Batman, the the artist, the artistic style anyway, it looks the same since the ones in the. And 90s, a lot of the voices so. are the exact same. And but yeah. now you know DC has their plan where they release a new animated film, which is more of a PG thirteen type film, but it, they're all animated, um, and they've been doing one the, every three months or something like that. And they tell different stories. They tell their mm-hmm. own Justice League story, of course. But they also tell some of the comic stories, like uh, the Killing Joke. We talked about that last week on the Quick Hits. Mark Hamill's coming back to reply, reprise the voice of Joker uh, for The Killing Joke, which <clears throat> I believe will be the first time we'll have seen that as some sort of animated thing. I think they put hints of it in Batman Beyond, the movie Return of the Joker. I believe there was hints of... The, was Wait, was The Killing... No, Death in the Family. Sorry, that was Death in the Family. Killing Joke is different. That's where Barbara Gordon gets shot. Yes. Okay, so this will be the first time that you really see anything from that. So that'll be pretty cool. And that is one of the best um, Batman stories that's ever come out. So Marvel, where is the At least one of the most famous because of the events that... The the shatter... The the major events that change a lot of... uh, Have a big impact on the storyline anyway. So it looks like they're trying to catch... Marvel's trying to catch up to DC, but they're not quite there... And I do think animated shows are a really cool way to do comic books, number one, because comics are kind of already animated, so it's not too hard to do. And if you get proper voice acting, they can be they can tell the story really well. So I'm yeah, looking they, forward to seeing the new Guardians of the Galaxy. I think there's also a 
at this point a longer running um, basis of or tradition of good comic book mm-hmm. to sure. animated show because especially like from back when uh when stan lee spearheaded like the marvel marvel corner and things like that they had plenty of good stuff then as which was before the comic book movies started taking off and doing a lot of good ones and so they've been doing them for a that while. because of the success of some of the early shows like the early batman shows uh, spider-man the animated series not the early batman shows but batman the animated series yeah. superman X-Men. wasn't one, one of my favorite ones but that was a good one x-men is a good one that these superman movies, the animated well, superman was better than the than the movies of superman yeah, but I didn't really like. I, I've never liked Superman that much. I just I don't. didn't either. But his his cart like they because they always paired him with Batman anyway. But yeah. the Superman ones yeah. were better than the movies. So that, that's all you could say. I guess it's not saying a whole lot. But it was and, and I like Superman more in the Justice League setting um, than I do like him as a solo hero. So nah, that's neither here nor there. But let us know what you think. Are you excited to watch the Guardians of the Galaxy TV show this fall or? Would you rather just skip it and just keep getting those straight to DVD uh, DC animated films? Let us know. Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Worst of My Face on Twitter. Google Plus Facebook. Oh, it's good ways of getting a hold of us. Let's go.